first she needs to identify what she has and what she needs to buy. So I Thanks. have my final velocity and my initial velocity and my time and my <laughs> acceleration. <laughs> so let me write that down. Um, acceleration equals 9.8. Final velocity equals 39.004. Initial velocity is 0 because it said it started from rest. But I need to find my distance because that's what it's asking for right here. And so I'm just going to put a question mark there for right now because I don't know what it wants. Now we need to pick one of the big three. Now we need to pick, one of the big three. <laughs> pick initial, initial velocity squared. No, final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared. Um, it plus two times acceleration times distance. Okay, so let's plug it in. Let's use a different color. Okay, so the final velocity, which is 39.004 squared equals zero squared plus two times 9.8 times d, which is unknown. That is a d. Okay. Now let's simplify it. So 39.004 squared is 1, 5, 2, 1, point three, one Two equals equals zero zero plus two plus two times nine point eight nine point eight times d or x either one yeah okay and then we need to divide this by two times nine point eight which is I'm taking a test. Which is 19.6. And let's, okay, let, and then so that will equal 77.618, approximately. This is rounded meters. And that will equal D. And that is your final solution. 77.618 meters. That is the position of the ball after or distance. That would be distance. Yeah. That is the distance of the ball okay. after 3.96 seconds. Thank you.